Hi, I'm Diana from Harb Ski Systems. We're here for our next installment in the How to Use Your Harb Carvers videos. In the last one, we learned how to make a single turn to a stop on a slight hill. So now that we can come to a stop on a slight hill, we are ready to work towards linked turns, turns where we get to go back and forth on that gentle hill. Now, if Chris, my trusty filmer, will turn around for a moment, he will show you that my hill actually runs out. If you look down there, you'll see that, that there's kind of a bottom to it and then it starts to go back uphill again. And that's a really, really safe kind of a hill for learning because if something really goes wrong, I can just point my feet down the road, ride it out, and I will come to a stop. Um, depending on where you're learning to do this, either choose a hill that runs out into a real flat or if you have a, um, like a parking lot with a little slope, you can do some of the traverse exercises by going across it too. So, but we don't want to end up on a, we don't want to start here on a hill that suddenly gets really steep. That would not be useful. So what we're going to do first is go across the hill. We are about where we were starting on our hill for our linked, for our, um, when we did our single turn to a stop. I was about this high up. So I know that even if I go straight here, I can do a single curve and come to a stop. I know that. So, traffic, we're gonna let them go first. Once they're gone, what I'm gonna do is a couple steps down the hill to get rolling, a couple of steps up the hill to slow down, but before I come to a complete stop, I'm gonna do it again. A couple steps down to get going, and then I'll be able to do maybe one full, full turn to a stop. So, there I go. I'm across the hill. One or two steps, I get going. A couple of steps, I slow down. One or two to get going. And now I have to be super quick because I'm running out of terrain. So I have to be very, very quick and I really have to tip in order to make that turn come around. Skate up a little bit. I'll show you what that looks like from the front. A couple steps down to get going. A couple steps up down a couple steps up until I come to a stop same thing but I'm gonna see if I can go more down the hill with each release more down the hill and then stepping stepping and tipping to come back up good so again the more I aim down the faster I go that means the more that I have to tip and step quickly to be able to curve back up the hill. A couple steps down, as many little steps as I need to slow down. A couple steps down, a couple more. Okay, now I'm gonna, gonna sneak down to Chris here. I can still break using the old faithful. Now from here down, what I'm going to do, here being lower on the hill, this time I'm going to step until I kind of aim straight down the hill. A couple steps to one side, step down again to get straight down the hill, step around until I come to a stop. So instead of doing a garland with the backs and forths, I'm really almost headed straight down the hill. That's going to give me a little more speed. Okay, step down until I face downhill tip and step, back down the hill, and tip and step until I stop. In order to get that turn to come back up the hill within one lane, I have to tilt a lot with the ankles, then I have to step really, really quickly. So I'll show you what that looks like on the other side. There we go. Step down until you're going down the hill couple steps the other way, a couple steps down, and zip it around. Woo! There we go. If you can do that, you're ready to go back and forth in the fall line. I'm going to do it from here, where it's not too much of a hill, and I'm going to use the yellow line. It's kind of my gauge.
So for that first attempt at link turns in the fall line, I do not want to get going fast. And there are two things that I did that made sure that I did not get going fast, especially if that was going to be something I didn't want to deal with. First of all, I started really, really low on the hill and I chose a very, very gentle hill so that even if I went straight, straight down the hill and made no turns, I wouldn't get going very fast. The second thing I did was I made sure that I did enough tilting and enough quick little steps so that every one of the times that I crossed that center line, if I wanted to stop, I would have just kept stepping back up the hill and made that single turn to a stop. So watch me again and I'm going to do two or three and then I'm going to come to a stop just to make sure that I can. Go. Down the hill. Lots of stepping angle. Going slowly here. Other direction. Get really quick. And I think on this one, ah, there's a car coming. Important that I'm able to come all the way around, head it back up the hill, come to a stop. So when you're first doing those, those link turns, if you don't have a really easy, gentle area, it's going to be important to do essentially one turn and come to a stop. And then do two turns and come to a stop. And then three turns and come to a stop. So that you never pick up too much speed. Because if at number three you go, ooh, that was a little bit scary, that went fast, you don't want to do that again. You can go back to doing two at a time. So I'll show you what it's like if I do one turn to a stop, two turns to a stop, and then three. And you'll see that flying too. That's especially helpful if your hill is longer than mine and if you don't have a hill that runs out. So, there we go. Going to get going. And that's like a half turn to a stop. There's my stop. Okay. Here's a full turn to a stop. One curve all the way to the right. Tipping, tipping like crazy until I stop. That was one turn. Now I'm going to do two. Have to get going. There we go. Angle like crazy. Ah, I got a car. Good moment to do two. There's one. Here's two. And again, I'm rolling up the hill. I'm going to stop. As soon as my car goes by, I'll come up a little bit and I'll show you three turns. Push. A little push. Here I go. Okay, here's a start. Here's my turn number one is done. Turn number two to the left. I'm cranking to the left. Turn number three, tipping like crazy. And number three is going to be it. So I just keep tipping and stepping until I coast up the hill. Just like in the last segment, when you were learning how to make sort of that one single turn from a stop, once you can do a turn, two turns, three turns, and come to a stop, do it both directions. But then you can start to work on not just can I do it, but how well do I do it? Am I tipping as much to my right as I do to my left? Are my hands all over the place? Or are they in home base practicing for how I want to be able to ski? Do I, if I find myself, woo, kind of leaning way to the inside, I can do that double pole drag like I did the last time. I can practice all of my essentials, counteracting. I can practice flexing. I can practice all of that stuff on the hard carvers. Because now you are able to make linked turns on a hill. And remember that the way we stop is by curving up the hill, stepping and tipping for now. We have one more video to come, and that's the one that gets us away from all the stepping and into more rolling of our feet. But for now, enjoy. Get in touch with us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.